Delaware Shakespeare family. William Shakespeare wrote 154 sonnets. So in this time, uh, when we are not able to gather together um, in big groups to celebrate Shakespeare and, uh, and each other's company, uh, we at Del Shakespeare, we're going to try to read a sonnet a day from each weekday uh, until we're able to start getting back together in groups again. Hopefully, we will not need all 154 of them. Uh, so we're going to start today with Sonnet 1. And, uh, and some of the sonnets sometimes need a little bit of, of explanation. Uh, one explanation I'm going to give here is a word that appears towards the end of this sonnet. Uh, it is N-I-G-G-A-R-D, niggard. Uh, what that word meant in Shakespeare's time was, was a miser, somebody that was selfish with their resources and wasn't generous. Um, so just FYI when you hear that word. Um, and, you know, a lot of uh, Shakespeare sonnets uh, were about encouraging people to procreate. Um, and Sonnet 1 uh, is one of those sonnets. Um, in this sonnet, um, the, the poet is telling his subject uh, that time and death will destroy all things, and it's only if you reproduce um, that you can, you know, be successful. And there's a, a certain metaphor for that right now, you know, in this time of, uh, of fear and, and disease and what might come of that. Um, there's also a lot of creative impulses going on. Um, and I think that it is uh, that creative impulse, that creative instinct, that will be one of the things that gets us through this. So here is Sonnet 1. From fairest creatures we desire increase, that thereby beauty's rose might never die. But as the riper should by time decease, his tender air might bear his memory. But thou, contracted to thine own bright eyes, feedst thy light's flame with self-substantial fuel, making a famine where abundance lies. Thyself thy foe, to thy sweet self too cruel. Thou that art now the world's fresh ornament and only herald to the gaudy spring, within thine own bud buries thy content and tender churl, makest waste in niggarding. Pity the world, or else this glutton be to eat the world's due by the grave and thee. Sonnet 1. 